It's actually a nice day today. It's a beautiful day for us to go build an Evo. What up my little BRZ friend? So before we go to the shop, I do want to give you guys a quick update on the STI. The other day, Josh and I did try to e-tune the car. The car is just throwing a whole bunch of fits. Uh, so after Josh gets back from Texas 2K, we're just going to be trailering the car over to Bader's Dyno, do the break-in tune at Bader's, and then we'll break it in here once we actually have a good enough tune to drive it on. It's just every time we were trying to drive it, it kept going into like a weird fuel cut state. Um, so it's just gonna be easier for us to be able to do all this at Josh's. But uh, because of the STI, there's not much going on with it for the next couple of days. We're gonna start doing more Evo stuff. So the main goal for today is to measure out the 4G63. And if everything measures out good, start assembling it. So that way we can start getting the 4G63 back into the Evo and hopefully get that car back on the road soon. So just stop dilly dallying and go to the shop. All right, we've made it over to the shop. Now I've got the door closed behind me today because it was a really nice day and I'd like to have the door open. But uh, because we're building a motor, I wanna try to minimize how much crap is like blowing in from outside. So on the table in front of me, let me get it cleaned off, wiped down. I'm gonna get some paper towels laying down over it. We're gonna go grab our engine parts, get them set up on the table. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna get the engine on an engine stand first. Let me clean off the table anyways. Today I'll be testing my strength to see how strong I actually am. Can I pick up a 4G63? Maybe, maybe not, because these things are heavy as shit. Woo! That's not light. That is not light at all. It's rotated. I need to get to the back of this thing so we can get our engine stand on here. I really don't want to rip the bag because normally I like to reuse the bags. So typical for iron blocks, you are going to get a little bit of surface rust. It's iron. It's going to do it. Now, all we care about is our machine surfaces not being rusty, which none of them are, which is good. So uh, first thing for us is we're going to get this thing off of the table, get it onto the engine stand. Uh, this thing is not going to be fun for me to pick up and get it onto the stand. Hey, the dude, the VIN number is actually on the engine. That's kind of cool. Is this the original engine? Actually, I know this isn't the original engine. So. Uh, let me get this thing bolted up so that way we can get this thing onto our stand and start measuring it out. Oh, I can tell you right now this is going to suck. I'm sure I can find something. First one, thread you in there. I found my old head studs and uh, they seem to work just fine. So we're just going to use old head studs to hold the bottom of the engine to the engine stand. If I hadn't had bought new ones, then I wouldn't be using these, but since I bought new ones, why not? All right, now for the fun part, picking it back up again and sliding it onto the engine stand. This is gonna suck doing it by myself, but you know, sometimes you don't really got an option. All right, so I think my goal here is going to be to flip the engine stand around, push it up against the table, actually, I think I can just do it like that. All right, come here, engine. Oh, look at that, we're already on. Not, actually not bad at all to get this thing on there by myself. I was expecting far worse. All right, sweet, now that we've got the engine on the stand, now I'm gonna get everything kind of set up here on the table so that way we can start running through, getting measurements of everything, um, and maybe today start assembling this engine. Uh, I'd really like to get this thing back in the car in the next, by the end of next week at the latest. I am going to need help putting this back in. Uh, Matt said he'd be more than willing to come help me. I forgot my feeler gauges at home, so I'm gonna have to run to the auto parts store here in a little bit when we go to measure out our ring gaps. I've got all the measurements I'm gonna be doing for all this stuff, and I'll share those measurements with you guys here soon, but give me a sec to get all this set up over here. All right, so I've got my workstation prep pretty much set up at this point. We have our crankshaft. This has been 
repolished, so I have a feeling that our bearings over here are going to be a little undersized, but I'm not gonna know until I go to slap these guys in and take measurements. Um, for the crank, I'm shooting for about two to three thou, closer to about two, two and a half thou than three thou, but if one of them is up to three thou, I may let it slide. Um, my goal is about two to two and a half though. We've got our manly rods here, we've got our manly pistons, bore gauge, thrust washers, uh, dial or calipers and stretch gauge so that way we can measure stretch and we have our engine on the engine stand here So the first thing that I need to do is go ahead and pull measurements I think I'm gonna pull measurements off the crankshaft first. I've shown you guys how to do this It's the exact same process as it is on Subarus as it would be on this. We're just gonna take our Our point mics here. And we're gonna go through and measure the diameter or the the circumference I think it's a diameter diameter. So I think circumference is half a diameter. We're going to measure the diameter of all of these, uh, record those measurements. Remember, you don't want to take measurements off of the oil galley locations um, that will throw them off. So I just have the crank bolt put in here. I just bolted up my vise to the table here so we can go ahead and get the crank in the vise, crank it down, lock it down, and then start getting some measurements. Okay, so for the most part, I've got the measurements pulled off the crank. I don't have small enough micrometers right now to measure all of the rod journals, so I'm gonna have to go out later today and go grab a set of smaller micrometers to be able to measure those. But the mains came back pretty much solid. 2.2427, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 2.2425, 
and actually start filing them down. Remember, you can always take material off. You cannot add material back on. So whatever you do, don't go ham with these. There's always going to be some type of indication or marking on which ring or which way the ring faces, uh, either a dot or some type of lettering. The silver ring is typically going to be your compression ring and the black ring is typically, typically going to be your oil scraper ring, but it's easy to check and figure out. Run your finger across the edge of one of the rings. Whatever one feels sharper is going to be your oil scraper ring. That will be your second ring. The compression ring will be the top ring. So dude, these things look good. This is a nice manly looking piston. So let's go ahead and start measuring these out, get our piston rings set up and done with on here. Okay, so all the pistons are set up, all the ring gaps are set. Like I said, if you guys don't know how to set ring gaps or you've never seen it before, I'll link above one of my videos um, that covers how to spec out an engine, how to measure everything. It's, sorry, it's cold, so I'm using the heater down here. Uh, it, it covers literally every measurement that you'd have to find and it's applicable to pretty much every single engine out there. So I have a set of one to two inch bore gauges that I just bought on Amazon that'll be here on Wednesday. Uh, my buddy Eric, we're going to go swing over to his house tonight. I don't think his 2J and his 240 is there, but he has a really nice uh, 2J swap 240. I, I think it's a 1.5J. I think it's a 2J bottom end with a 1J head. So we're going to go swing over to his house later. He's the same one that up drills all of my heads for me to half inch. He's got a set of 1 to 2 inch calipers that we can borrow uh, to be able to take the rest of the measurements off the crank that we need to. I will get the other bearings ordered tonight, but in the meantime, there's something else that I can get done while we're here for this engine build, which is going to be a little bit annoying and I'm not looking forward to it, but it kind of needs to be done anyways. Now, something that I want to do with this engine is replace all of the oil seals. So I went ahead and I got some Power Division GSC Viton oil seals. Um, it's just a, while I have the cylinder head off, it's reassured maintenance just to do it now. I don't know if I have time to do this today though, because Melanie and I are going to swing over to grab those calipers when she gets off work and it's already about four o'clock, uh, so I don't know if I'll actually have time to get to this portion today. I don't know. I also found some bearings over here. I don't know why. I don't know what these go to. I don't know. Did I buy these? Did I buy these? What do these go to? I guess these are for the balance shaft. I guess these are balance shaft bearings. I think I'm, I'm deleting the balance shaft though, so I don't know why I have these. Dude, there's just so many evil parts over here. It's getting... I need to take those cams with me too. I need to get those cams repolished. I'm not going to stress that right now. I can get the battery in throw this little mini mini battery tray in could probably do that anyways so that way i can apply power to the car whenever we need to i don't know i'm trying to like think of small stuff i can do while i'm here i gotta come back here in a couple of days with these new tools and with our new main bearings i honestly i had a feeling our new main or our current main bearings that i got for this weren't gonna fit um but it's just good to get a gauge of where we are also plus one on the hud studs for working as engine block stands okay so unfortunately i just don't have enough time today to Swap out these oil seals on the cylinder head. We're gonna come back tomorrow. No, tomorrow my exhaust manifold for the Evo gets dropped off. We're gonna come back in like a day or two to keep going on this, but let's do go jet back to the house. There's gonna be traffic. It's like prime time for traffic. Uh, go pick up Melanie and then go snag these calipers. So that way we can actually finish measuring our crank. All right, you guys, so it's actually the next day. Um, I was able to snag the one to two inch micrometers last night from Eric, uh, huge shout out to him. His are digital, they're really fancy. So that way uh, I don't have to sit there and like hardcore read them. I can just see the number, write it down. From that, I can't really do anything else. I got the oversized bearings ordered last night for the 4G63. Um, I mainly needed to come back to the shop also because I forgot to take a thumbnail and kind of need that. So while I'm here, we're going to finish measuring the crank real quick. 085. Mm -hmm. 1.77085. Dope. So now that we've got our crankshaft fully measured out, uh, we've got all of the rod measurements, we've got all of the main bearing measurements, we've got our oversized bearings on the way for our engine, we may need to play mix and match with some of these bearings. I was talking to Jeremy down at Outfront, he was saying we can totally, I do it with EJs all the time, you use some standard bearings, use some oversized bearings, um, just to get all of your clearances and all your measurements right where you need them. 
which is not a bad thing to do. So we're probably gonna have to do that here with our 4G63. It just comes with the nature of using a used crankshaft, uh, using a used block and things of that nature. While I'm here, I do need to grab the cams for the car. You know, to be honest, I don't think I'm actually gonna get these repolished. After taking another look at them, they all feel and look totally fine. So I don't think I'm actually gonna get these repolished. These are HKS 272 cams. A lot of people are telling me to go with GSC. However, I already have these. And if I don't have to buy another set of cams, there's no point in me buying another set of cams. So we're just gonna be rocking these HKS 272 cams. They should give the 4G that we have here a nice little lope to it. And it should make it sound just ooh, that much better. But our exhaust manifold is out for delivery. So I need to go jet back over to the house and go snag that when it gets dropped off. It's just a forced performance intake or it, it's just a forced performance exhaust manifold for a 4G63 because we're going to be running an FP turbo. I don't know if we're going to be doing an FP green or an FP black yet, but it's going to be one of those two setups. So I'll actually catch you back at the house. Let me pick up real quick and we'll jet out. All right, you guys, we are back down at the house and I, I'm a little annoyed because I didn't make as much progress as I'd like to make, but I mean, that's, we're an individual in, in a single shop garage type area. I don't have a immediate access to all types of bearings. So I am subject to waiting for bearings to come in just like everybody else is out in the world. So when those bearings come in, uh, we'll double check our measurements. We should be good with those new bearings in there, calculating it out. They should add about one to one and a half thou of clearance. Uh, and that should put us right about that two and a half to three range. It looks like it's gonna be on the more on the looser end I mean, I'm not going to say looser end, but it's it's not going to be the most ideal for what I want without having to purchase a new crank, but I'm pretty sure that 4G63 cranks are discontinued, or if they are still out there, they're very, very expensive. So, we're going to run it at about two and a half to three thou probably. So, when those come in, we'll keep building the engine. At least we have our piston rings done, we've got the crank measured out, we have all of our measurements, our bore gauge comes in tomorrow to be able to measure the bore of the rods, so that way we can get our rod bearing gap figured out. Then I also want to mention this because people bring it up in every single engine build video I do. No, I don't use plastic gauge. These precision measuring tools are far more accurate than plastic gauge will ever be. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. Probably in the next upcoming video or two, we're going to start disassembling the STI actually. There's a lot of smaller stuff that we still need to sort out, get done, fabricate, mock up, build um, in preparation to get it over to Josh's dyno. We have about two weeks to do all of this stuff. So there's going to be some more STI stuff coming here shortly. We're going to get it on the dyno. The first dyno session is pure really going to be break in tune stuff for the H6 um, just to be able to drive the car on the street to get break in miles on it. Once I get about 500 miles on the car, uh, the clutch will be broken in. We'll drive it back. We'll take it back over to Josh's dyno and go for power pulls. Like I said before, this car is, we're estimating it to be around a thousand wheel horsepower with the setup that's in it now. We just need to work out a lot of the smaller issues. So if you guys like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that like button, turn black, blue, green, yellow, purple, silver sign, whatever color it turns for you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be, go ahead, hit that button. I'm not going to tell you to do it. You're an adult. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So peace out, homies.